Hi folks, we're going to take a look at an example of uh, describing and sketching a transformed quadratic function. So the function that I'm going to work with here is going to be f at x equals negative 0 0.5 times x plus 3 all squared plus 2. Okay, so before we start, we actually can describe what these transformations should do. Now, we recall that these transformations are attained by operating on numbers, so that means we have to follow uh, the bed mass order. So I'm going to ask you to first describe the uh, multiplication transformations and then the addition and subtraction ones. So here we're going to give a description. Okay, and what can we say here? Well, we know that the negative in front, so that's like multiplying by negative one, that's multiplying our y values that's it after you've squared so we know that the effect of this is to give us a reflection in the x-axis okay then we look at the other multiplication this is 0 0.5 okay now when we're multiplying by a number less than 1 what's going to happen to the y values they are going to get smaller it's going to make the parabola wider. So this here, we have a uh, we have a vertical. Okay, in this case here, since we're making the y smaller, it's a vertical compression. So it's like pushing down on the parabola. But I want to be specific by what factor, meaning by what do I multiply those y values? I'm going to multiply them all by 0.5. So I need to be as specific as possible. So now I've taken care of the two multiplications. Let's take care of the additions and subtractions. So we can start with the horizontal translation. So we have a horizontal translation. Okay. And we remember that horizontal transformations always act in the opposite way. So here if we see x plus 3, it's actually going to be subtracting 3 from the x's. So everything is going to shift to the left. So it's a horizontal transla translation, excuse me, 3 units to the left. And lastly, we can do this other additive one. When we add 2 after squaring, means we're adding 2 to all the y values. So this is going to be a shift upwards by 2 units. So here we'll say this is a vertical translation 2 units. Okay, so if they're asking you to describe the transformations, I want you to describe them in the correct order. I want you to tell me what the transformation does, and I want you to be specific. So if it's a compression or an expansion, I want you to tell me what you're multiplying the y values by. If it's a horizontal or vertical translation, I want you to tell me how many units it's moving up or down, left or right by. Okay, this is a very common communication question in a test. Okay, next thing I want to see is how are the points transformed? How are points transformed. Now we can transform many points from y equals x squared to this new function. However, we've decided on using those three basic points that help, uh, that show the shape of the graph quite well. So you are always going to start with your points on y equals x squared, and the three we've chosen here are negative 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Okay? Now, when doing the transformations, remember, you have to take care of the multiplication ones first. So I'm only going to deal with those that involve a multiplication to start. So here it's the negative 0 0.5. Okay, and I'm not even going to talk about the translations yet. I'm only going to deal with this vertical stretch. So since these are vertical translations, we're only changing the y values. So the x values in each of these okay, will not change. But the y values will get multiplied by negative 1 and by 0 
Well, that's like multiplying the y values by negative 0.5. So 1 times negative 0.5 is negative 0.5. Okay, 0 times negative 0.5, uh, not surprisingly, with those uh, reflections and stretches, the uh, vertex does not change. But here, the 1 gets multiplied by negative 0.5, so 1 times negative 0.5 is negative 0.5. Now that I've taken care of all the multiplication transformations, I can now deal with the additions and subtractions. So x plus 3 squared plus 2. Okay. So since the horizontal translation does not affect the vertical one, I'm going to do them both at the same time. So remember here, horizontal transformation. Horizontal transformation, always the opposite. So if I see x plus 3, I'm actually going to be subtracting 3. So here we have negative 1, minus 3, negative 4. Then the y values, we're going to add 2. So negative 0 0.5 plus 2 is 1.5. Okay, and let's do the same here. x minus 3, negative 3, 0 plus 2. Sorry, here that was 0 minus 3, negative 3. This is 0 plus 2, 2. And then lastly, 1 minus 3, negative 2. And negative 0.5 plus 2 is 1.5. Okay? And now we can sketch the graph of the function. Okay? So you can do this on graph paper, or you can even just do it by hand just to get a sense of what the graph will look like. Okay, so let's always label our x and y axes, and I always need to see labels on the axes themselves. Okay, so here, well, I need to go to x equals negative 4, so here I'll put 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, maybe go one more. Okay, and then up and down, well, the most I need is 2, so I'll make this 1, 2, make sure you label uh, at least one of the ticks on the y-axis. Okay, and now we can graph. So we've got negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's hey, 1.5. Okay, and I just paused it there because an announcement came on. So let's do negative 4 and 1.5. Okay, then we've got negative 3 and 2. And then we've got negative 2 and 1.5. And when we draw the graph, we see that it's a fairly wide graph. Okay. And there we go. And these three points alone are enough to uh, give us a decent graph. Okay. That's it for now.